Hello and welcome. India's healthcare sector offers a lot of opportunity, but mining it is not going to be simple. One chain that's been trying to grow and expand both organically and inorganically is the Delhi-based Fortis Group. I'm now joined by Shivinder Singh, Executive Vice Chairman of the company, to tell us how they're looking at 2014 and some of the trends they're seeing, not from a revenue point only, but also from a medical and medicine point. Shivinder, thank you very much for speaking with us. It's an exciting time for the healthcare space, as it is for many other spaces. You've been expanding, uh, you've opened a new hospital in Gurgaon, uh, near Delhi. Uh, you're looking at more acquisitions, I'm sure, which you'll tell me about. So, tell us what's new in the healthcare space and what's changing this year. Well, I think, uh, I think from our perspective, firstly, we're really building on uh, a scale that we have today. Uh, we've got to a point now where we can actually take on our stride a certain amount of expansion on a yearly basis that, you know, without much of pain. Unlike earlier where we were sm smaller and actually picking up either through acquisition or greenfield, much larger scale. Uh, I think this year has been reasonably unusual. We actually added about a thousand beds. By the end of the year, we would have added a thousand beds, mm -hmm. which is not the norm. We're looking at probably trying to grow between five to six hundred beds a year. Uh, hopefully one greenfield, one brownfield facility. They were keeping a bit of a balance, but then opportunity so really… So brownfield uh, facilities which obviously are in existence, but they already meet your requirements or meet your spec in some way. Well, so when I'm talking about brownfield, I'm talking about adding on to existing facilities. So mm -hmm. in phase two in that okay. sense. So these and are not acquisitions <coughs> of running hospitals? No, acquisitions really you can't plan really. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, Govind, acquisitions come uh, from an opportunity point of view. You look at the asset and mm -hmm. see what is the net delta you're looking at. Mm -hmm. What can you add to what is already running? Mm -hmm. Uh, and therefore, that doesn't really come into planning sure. in that sense. We ha we do a market uh, sense, we do a survey, we have an eye on, you know, mm. what's going on. But and do stuff people like that. approach you saying that we would <coughs> like to join your network or be acquired by you? We, or we have been for the last many years mm. getting almost on average an offer a day uh, of some kind of a, either mm. acquisition or a tie-up or a collaboration. Uh, but unfortunately, if you look at healthcare in India today, we have about 50,000 odd private hospitals in the country. 85 of them are below 30 beds. Mm. Uh, so you're actually talking about a very large chunk of it, which is very mom and pop shop mm. style. So mm. it's very, it's a nursing home, probably mm. the right word to use. And there are only about 1% of hospitals over 200 beds. So you're only talking about 500 mm. odd hospitals that are large. Mm. Of them, if you remove charitable, which are not for sale, societies mm. and things like that, you come to a very small pool. Mm -hmm. uh, and the majority of that sits within the three or four big uh, mm. companies that exist mm. today. So there's not that much of trade that is anywhere going to happen. What's probably going to happen is people who have started out building out a facility and have for whatever reason changed minds mid-course. Mm. Uh, so you'll get, you know, either partial development or fully developed. Uh, and a lot of that is going to happen because a lot of money is coming into healthcare. I think the big change, if you ask me what's happening going forward, uh, is two things. I think firstly, healthcare has come into focus. Mm. We've been talking about the sunrise sector for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. But I think some of that is actually starting, to, the sunshine is happening now. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a lot of money is coming into healthcare. Healthcare probably will land up in la one of the larger PEs. So you're deals. defining sunshine as the f inflow of fresh capital. It, it, first phase. Okay. There are many levels of sunshine in that <laughs> sense. Uh, you know, UV rays without UV rays and so on and so forth. But I, I think a lot of capital is coming. A lot of interest is starting. And that's what I'm calling sunshine. A lot of it is going into new. Uh, new innovative uh, models, new markets, and new facilities. It's not coming into the traditional built, mm. uh, listed entities in that mm. sense. Uh, and I think that's very good because there's net increase to infrastructure. Mm. But there are also in some ways money coming in which is not going to sustain itself. So there are many models that I've seen where a lot of money is coming from private equity, where fundamentally we know that's not a sustainable business. So eventually it's going to land up either going up for sale or go, there's nothing going to go bust because it's brick and mortar business mm. at the end of the day. Mm. So those are the opportunities that are going to come down the line. And we'll evaluate as we go along. So we don't actually see enough infrastructure today in the country that is worth our standard to actually buy. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the escorts and the Walkard acquisition that we've done, mm. uh, they stand out as reasonably unique because they're not enough good quality assets that exist otherwise in the marketplace. So it's difficult to talk about right. acquisition genetically. Right. So uh, Gurgaon being your sort of large flagship, flagship uh, yeah. recent flagship uh, uh, creation, now, uh, you've, you've seen some interesting trends there in terms of the way uh, uh, revenues have come in and the areas where they've come in. Tell us about it. So, I think Gurgaon has been a revelation even to us. Mm. I, I think we set up Gurgaon as our flagship facility. It's called Fortis Memorial Research Institute with the idea of changing the experience that the patients have. Uh, so, if you look at the difference between what used to happen in the olden good quality healthcare in India, we've always had good quality healthcare mm. and just it's quantum and quality mm. has really been the delta. Uh, and what we're trying to do here is change the experience. Mm. So we want to change the patient experience, uh, we want to standardize the experience and we want to be able to make it replicable across different markets. So if you've got one thing good happening here in one speciality, we would like to be able to modularize that and take that in other markets. It's not easy to do in healthcare per se for a variety of reasons. I think Gurgaon was really an experience for us to actually put a new package all together. Mm -hmm. To be able to put 
a very good quality infrastructure in a very good environment, high tech uh, from a technology point of view, and put some of the best talents in under one roof, uh, and change the way you experience healthcare. And I think what the surprise for us has been that it's been received so well. Uh, there has actually changed a lot of the, the economic metrics that we assume in our business models. So it's actually even much faster. Oh, I, I probably, you know, three times faster than we'd actually imagined uh, from our standard. And, and is that because of the volume of uh, patients who are coming in through your doors or is it because of the kind of treatment they are going for? Well, I think in our business really pricing is the lowest lever that we try not to use actually. Mm -hmm. So it's really a function of how many use your services and what level of services do you use. So are you using the tertiary, high end, critical care stuff or using the lower end, secondary care stuff and the price points change accordingly. Mm -hmm. So for us, we believe we are in tertiary care. We want to do the more complex stuff. So we are equipped from a technology infrastructure point of view and from a talent point of view, do the most high-end stuff. In Gurgaon, we try to take it another level in a couple of areas. One, more specialities that we had not here to done as Fortis. And secondly, broken down the super into sub-specialities. So we have a whole variety of sub-specialists that probably other organizations or even in our organization did not exist uh, before. And therefore, so we have a dedicated shoulder surgeon. Mm -hmm. We have a dedicated ankle surgeon. We have a dedicated hand surgeon. Uh, so we have a person who is now dedicated for heart transplants. So in different specialities, we have a pediatric gastro uh, uh, person, we have a pediatric nephro person. So in so pediatrics is a big field, but we've got like 12 specialists in pediatrics. Pediatric. Yeah. Wow. So same way in oncology, same way in, in cardiology, mm -hmm. same way in orthopedics. So what we've done is not just looked at great physicians in a field, but look at physicians who specialize in an area. And what that allows us is, I, obviously they do less volume of work, but they do such high end complica complicated work that the financials start matching up. So it's not like the hospital is over brimming with volume that people are falling all over the place. It's a, very, it's a very comfortable place to be in that sense. But the kind of work that we're doing is so high end that the economics is working very well. So is, is this a strategy that you'll be rolling out elsewhere? Is that, is that, is that so, are you kind of... So you ask me what are the learnings from Gurgaon? Mm -hmm. I, I would say two learnings. Mm -hmm. I think number one, our learning is that if you're able to provide uh, a comprehensive facility, uh, your acceptability is much more. And what we've tried to do is not only provide all the uh, all the technology bells and whistles together, but also try to get in people who are great physicians, but are more human in approach. Because in our belief, the patient experience is a function of actually how the doctor behaves with you, how much time he gives you, and how much comfort he gives you. It's not just about his ability. I think that model is going to change going forward. It's not the brand name alone. It's also the experience that you have with Let's the physician. Precisely. Uh, I think the second piece is that some of these marquee facilities have a different kind of an aura that even the patients start to feel. I mean, I've met hundreds of customers of us out of Gurgaon. And the one thing that I would say that comes out as a standard is say that we feel cared for. We feel like we will be taken care of. We don't have to worry. It gives you a sense of positive environment. And I think that comes, they tell us, I said, your, your employees are so happy. And I think that comes from actually providing them an environment where they are enjoying what they do. And it's not easy in a healthcare environment because you're always talking about sickness, you're talking about care, you're talking about death, you've always got blood around. And it's not an easy place to keep your colleagues happy. Mm. So if your healthcare provider is taken care of, then obviously it will flow down to his patient as well. So what's 2014 looking like uh, overall? So I think uh, I, uh, this year has been a very great growth year for us. So it's not something that we expect to go unusual. Our trend we would like is five to 600 beds every year uh, on a steady state basis. Hopefully one green field, one brown field. Uh, currently we have probably one project that's going to come out on stream next year. Uh, is and this? A, this is in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. It's a marquee uh, mother and child facility. It's a boutique women's hospital, mm -hmm. much like our facility in Delhi called Fortis La Femme. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are under construction of another Fortis La Femme in Ludhiana, mm -hmm. which is again a very marquee property, much of the same models as Gurgaon. Uh, and then we've got a couple of internal expansions happening, which will probably take a little longer in the next year. So probably after this very high growth here, there's probably going to be a relatively lower growth here in that sense. And, and what's the one thing that uh, you're concerned about? I mean, it could be to do with the environment or the nature of healthcare. Well, I think in our, in our business, uh, keeping in mind that we are a little short of 5,000 beds that we run today, we have internally visibility for up to 10,000 plus beds. Mm. So for us, growth is not a challenge. Mm. Uh, it's a function of how much steam we want to put behind it. So for us, largely 99% of the, our world is internal. You know, how well 
do we do what we do? How well can we standardize processes? How well can we keep our physicians? Can we keep adding high quality physicians? Can we keep the existing ones and so on and so forth? So really... So getting physicians, I would imagine, is one big... Uh, organizational come HR getting challenge. keeping training upgrading and keeping them happy HR is going to be a challenge for every organization I don't think we are anything different from that mm -hmm. so we we all as large healthcare providers have the benefit of getting the better talent uh, but within that you always want something you know better and better and better so you're always you know looking at choosing the best in that sense so that's always going to be a challenge right, thank you very much yes. and thank you happy to